Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against the Year. Recently I got an email from one of my subscribers asking me for help with web scraping uh, bets from Sportbet site. And uh, he provided a video request on one in particular he has issues with, which is absolutely fantastic. So he asked, uh, he asked me uh, literally how to mimic uh, a Jack's post request. And even though I've been doing this like tutorials uh, really numerous times here on Comic Against channel still, uh, I think I can show this kind of one more time. So let's have a look at uh, the target site. I just want to uh, make the URL a little bit more precise. And uh, here is all the data he's kind of interested in. But as he was uh, already mentioned within his video, so he, find, uh, he, found, uh, he found a particular uh, Ajax post request that is done uh, when the site is loaded and this is it. So we have this sort of a data being loaded uh, asynchronously and all he wants is actually to grab this data well and probably store to I believe to some JSON file or whatever that doesn't matter really so uh, I'll now show you a, a quick solution on how one can mimic this Ajax post request using request library and using the scrapey library as well so request is way more simple but if you have scrapey that's also quite pretty trivial so without further ado let's actually start so I just want to open the terminal and uh, invoke my Python interpreter so I want to import uh, requests and create the response object that would be equal to requests dot uh, not get but post and I need to specify the uh, the URL so the URL is about to be taken from Hitters from here, so just grab this one, okay, paste. Uh, then I would also need, okay, what do I done? Then I would also need to specify a specific header, uh, the content type one. So let me just, okay, uh, not the response headers, but the request headers instead. This is it. So content type, absolutely essential for otherwise. It won't really be working properly so um, just paste this in and I want to enquote them within the quotes like so so we got this content type header and the very last thing that is specific to post request so we need to specify the request body and uh, within the request library context we have this data keyword and we need to scroll down and see the form data and uh, this view parsed uh, version kind of works so this is we can we can view source but and view parse so uh, if you're sending the raw data you can use this this one we'll use this within the scrapey and for requests library this is the proper way of doing things so uh, I will now just uh, well pro as far as the tab is empty uh, I don't know if I really should specify that well I can actually try to specify the empty one as well so say tab and nothing there and then this sport ID so sport ID and soccer okay and as Binaman as Binaman equals to soccer as well Okay, and let's have a look what we got there. So response dot text. Perfect. We got our JSON response, which is absolutely fantastic. So just to prettify this a little bit, uh, I could have parsed this. So uh, I can import JSON library, and I can simply say print and JSON dot dumps and uh, resp uh, response dot text. And I want to specify the indentation equals to two spaces just to pretty print the stuff. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, I'm oh, sorry guys. So first I obviously need to parse it. So I need to say JSON dot loads this response text and then I can parse. Okay, so this is it basically. So all the data we have here in the preview tab, uh, well, I'm not sure regarding the data itself, doesn't make much sense to me, but hopefully for my subscriber it would make more sense. So we have this 
kind of file with, with, with really lots of data. So the very last thing to do here, we could have just stored it to, well, say, to my desktop. So here is, uh, so like I don't have this, this scrape file yet, so I will now just kind of store it. So I can simply say, so instead of printing something, I can simply say open dot write and here is specify, let's say I want to store it to my desktop and let's say odds.json okay excuse me oh sorry uh need to specify that i want to write bytes uh not not write by not write bytes uh, right to the file stream okay so here just write some bytes there so let's have a look okay odds json has just appeared so let's have a look okay and this is the data well as far as i'm not sure uh what kind of data in particular my subscriber is interested in i'm not gonna extract anything from from here but just to give you an idea how in particular this could have been done, so let's say, uh, uh, let's say, let's call, let's create a variable JSON data, and it would be equal to uh, JSON dot dumps, uh, sorry, JSON loads to parse, and response dot text again, and now. Uh, we can, uh, if we print this JSON data from now on, it's a type of Python dictionary. So just to give you an idea, so you can say type of the JSON data. So this is the dictionary. So we can uh, reference whatever, uh, whatever key and we have the value, the specific value. So, well, let's say, I don't know, let's, let's ask for tabs. So I can simply say like JSON data, JSON, data and tabs and I get only the tabs information and let's say I want uh, I don't know countries or what I, I, I want to find some nested okay let's say competitions and matches to get this sort of a part so I can say simply like uh, competitions competitions and matches uh, okay, a run, run index, probably I just made a typo, so Okay, hold on a sec, list indices must be integers or slices, not strings, so competitions, is this a list? Uh, oh, so yeah, probably yeah, as far as this is the list, I can say the first element, let's say. Yeah, and here we have the matches. And if, I, if say, I want to pre prefy this, I can always say, like, print and json.dumps and indentation equals to two spaces and have the matches specific information here. So, yeah. That's kind of it. Uh, so this is it basically. And again, like uh, another request that I had. So we just uh, click. So, so, so he was mentioning that we can click on a new uh, kind of unfolded part here and we got a new request. Okay, so here we got a new request. Uh, the URL remains the same. The, the request method is still the same, but we already have much more kind of uh, form data to to type in. So here uh, I will show you uh, an alternative way of how to scrape this. So you using scrapey framework. So, well, obviously, obviously we could have used, we could have just uh, typed them by hand or copy paste or whatever to uh, convert this data to a Python dictionary That's, that would be serving as the request body uh, that that is passed along with a uh, with a post request, okay. Uh, but I just want to show you one little simple uh, idea that we can came up with. So if I just invoke my Scrapey shell, so Scrape is a very powerful tool to be honest. Uh, and I'll now demonstrate how to make how to 
create a one line uh, uh, scrapey one liner to store this sort of a code uh, to, to, to store this sort of a request to the JSON file in one line of uh, Python code using within the scrapey shell. So we can simply say import okay import scrapey and then we want to fetch and now we need to create the request uh, uh, the request object so I can simply say scrapey dot request and well first let's give it a URL so it's all pretty 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 the same stuff pretty the same copy so the URL is this one then I need to specify headers, so the syntax here is quite pretty the same. So request headers and the content type, I'm grabbing it from here, so copy. Okay. Paste and like this. Uh, okay, so Hitters. Okay. Then I need to specify the method. It would be equal to post. And also I want to specify um, the body of the request. So body would be equal. And now within the scrapey, we can simply use this view source and just grab whatever is there within uh, our browser and simply paste this in as the body. And we should obtain exactly the same response. So uh, we just have a look at the response text now. We have absolutely the same sort of a uh, data being extracted. So now let's alter our one-liner to make sure that uh, we also could have write this uh, to our file. So I can simply, so after this is done, I can simply say like, open and well uh also we can import json as well what well, we can import or cannot do it okay let's import it so import scrapey import json okay so i want to open again like desktop and call it let's say oh it's scrapey just to give it a different name the json uh, I want to write to the false trim and I want to write uh, I want to write JSON dumps we want indentation equals to two spaces and what do we want to write we want to write JSON dot loads and response bones.txt and if I did everything correctly it should now print now it should create a new file on my desktop so let's have a look oh it's scrapey yeah so absolutely the same well uh, actually it's not the same because we've uh, we've just scraped data from a kind of different uh, from a different uh, well, from from the same URL but using the different request bodies hence the data is also different so whatever uh, Whatever data you need from here, uh, you just need to obtain a copy of those. Every time I click this, we get this uh, new AJAX request being done. So I'm not sure if this if this kind of data is the same. So yeah, tap today to soccer, soccer. So competition ID seems to be the only parameter, seems to be the only parameter, yeah, that is being changed. So it's the matter of getting the list of this competition IDs basically for all the available uh, for all the available I don't know countries or what is this yeah probably countries and then we just create a list of those IDs and then make this post request that I've that I've been introducing here like within the loop and that's kind of it so just, just just need to make a little work on uh, finding the list of this ID if it is available well if it's not well probably doing this by hands is a bit too long but on the other hand there are not many there 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 there, there aren't too many actually so well it depends 
So what I can say that would you would you like uh, would be happy to buy you a cup of coffee. So thanks. Uh, I would appreciate that a lot. So this is the job <laughs> that costs a cup of coffee. What I've done so far, but if if you want to have if you want to have like all the data being scraped regarding this uh, uh, regarding all, all of these countries, it would be I don't know probably several coffees already. Okay, guys. So this is it from my side. Uh, I hope you've en you've enjoyed the tutorial. So I'm not providing the source code because literally I didn't do <laughs> right much. So you just feel free to uh, watch the video again to get this fancy one-liners to just simply have an idea of how the data can be how easily the data can be scraped using this post request, either using a request library or uh, the scrapey framework. This is it from my side. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.